Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bill Keegan, Town Manager in Foxborough, with your latest COVID-19 update. Sorry for the delayed re, uh, video cast this afternoon, but I uh, wanted to, um, I couldn't get, get to you this morning. So uh, here's the latest information that I have uh, relative to COVID-19 impacts here in Foxborough. So as of, um, as of March 15th, uh, uh, since March 15th, rather, we've had 101 cases of COVID-19 in Foxborough. A total uh, of 75 people have recovered. Uh, current positive cases is at 15, which is good news. That number has continued to drop in the past few days. Um, total of nine cases have been lost in the follow-up uh, since uh, and, and during that stage of the, of the review process. And a total of 651 people have tested negative in Foxborough. Right now, a total of four people remain hospitalized uh, with COVID-19 complications, and one person has died as a result. Um, so also in Norfolk County, there are currently 7,524 7, cases, a uh, total of 728 deaths associated with those cases as, as well. Right now, a total of 17,600 beds are available uh, for, uh, for COVID-19 patients. 2,472 individuals are currently in those beds. Uh, those numbers continue to drop, by the way, which is good to see. And also, uh, in, in terms of the uh, total of people that are located, that are in the ICU ward, so it was 672 people currently in that in that con in that under with that condition. So that is the latest in terms of the numbers. Uh, fairly lengthy report today. I'll try and trim it down as much as I can. But there's a lot of information to share with you today. Obviously, last yesterday was the was the most important day for we've had in quite some time now where the governor actually revealed his, uh, his reopening plan. Um, the report was released with the plan re, uh, with the uh, plan for the reopening for Massachusetts. Information and links to the report and guidance can be found at foxborough.gov, foxborough.gov, foxborough, foxborough uh, slash department, slash health, slash COVID-19, dash health. That's the, the latest information report that came out of the government yesterday, the state government, to uh, give us guidance on what, we're, what we can plan. The, the Bigger Polito Administration released Reopening Massachusetts, Reopening Advisory Board's report, which details a four-phase strategy for responsibly reopening businesses and activities while continuing to fight COVID-19. COVID Massachusetts began phase one of a cautious reopening Monday and workplaces and, and workplaces that are permitted to open and required to follow new safety protocols and guidance. Each phase of the reopening will be guided by public health, health data and key indicators that will be continually monitored for progress, which will be used to determine advancements to the future phases. Each phase will, will last a minimum of three weeks and could last longer uh, before moving to the next phase. The 17-member Reopening Advisory Board, co-chaired by Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito and Housing and Economic Development Secretary Mike Keneally, consists of public health experts, municipal leaders, and members of the business community representing the Massachusetts economy. Phase one reopening includes manufacturing facilities, construction sites, and places of worship. Under a staggered approach, additional phase one sectors will be permitted to open effective May 25th, including lab space, office space, limited, per, uh, limited personal services, including hair salons, pet grooming, car washes, retail, uh, remote, remote fulfillment, and curbside pickup. Also permitted to, uh, to open on May 25th will be with, with applicable guidelines are beaches, parks, drive-in movie theaters, select athletic fields and courts, many outdoor adve adventure activities, most fishing, hunting, and boating, boating, outdoor gardens, zoos, reserves, and public inst installations. For these operations to open, they're they are required to, to complete self-certified, complete a self-certification, uh, indicating that they are healthy before they open. Required materials for businesses to self-certify are located on mass.gov slash reopening and include the COVID-19 control plan template, which must be retained on premises and provided in the event of an inspection, compliance at attestation posted to be posted in a location visible to employers and visitors indicating a completed COVID-19 control plan. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, other posters and signs describing rules for maintaining social distancing, hygiene protocols, as well as cleaning and disinfecting. It's important to note that businesses that have been operating to provide essential services as defined in the governor's executive order may, re, may, may remain open and have until May, 25, May 25th 
to 2020 to comply with the general workplace safety standards as well as their industry sector specific protocols. Stay safer at home uh, advisory went into effect on Monday replacing the stay at home advisory. The new safer at home advisory instructs everyone to stay at home unless they are headed to a newly opened facility or activity. It also advises those over the age of 65 and those with underlying health conditions to stay, stay home with the exception, exception of trips required for health care, groceries, or that are other, other, otherwise absolutely necessary. All residents must continue to wear a face mask uh, in public when social distancing is not possible, and individuals are advised to wash their hands frequently to be vigilant in monitoring their symptoms. Restrictions on gatherings of more than 10 people remain in effect. And um, let me see, as far as the uh, some of the other highlights of what's been happening, what's been happening at the state level. Um, uh, let me see. A lot of the, the information contained in the plan is actually something you can read online, so I'll, I'll spare the reading of this here. But it certainly is a, it's some very interesting information. And specifically to those who have questions about a specific plan, it's, it's best that you take a look at the plan first and then, and then ask your questions. And we'll be happy to help you here with, if we can locally or contact the Board of Health, who was the agency that is overseeing the, the, um, the action of, of, of re-engaging re the, re re the pu public and the, and the businesses throughout the community. Um, as far as child care goes, the, the commission, Commonwealth's mission in reopening is to increase access to child care and youth programs while continuing to protect children and safe and staff in preventing the, the spread of COVID-19. Child care and summer recreation camps will reopen in a phased approach. Departments of early education and care and public health are, re are developing guidelines that balance families' needs for child care with health and safety. The initial reopening plan will focus on families who have no safe alter alternative to group care by increasing emergency child care capacity. The EEC will also partner with industries returning to work to develop options specific to their workplaces. In March, the Baker Plato administration set up an emergency child care system to support children of essential workers and vulnerable families with extra virus mitigation protocols. During phase one, the emergency child care system we have already in place will be utilized to meet the needs of people with no alternatives for care. For care. Currently, only 35% of the 10,000 child emergency care, uh, child care capacity is occupied, and the system has the ability to serve more families to provide care options as more sectors come online. And let me see, supplies in order to operate all Massachusetts businesses will need to meet the mandatory workplace safety standards and relevant sector specific protocols published by the state. To support businesses, the state has developed a guide to educate businesses, business owners on what supplies are needed to return to workplaces and to put in a portal to connect businesses with manufacturers and distributors. These are now available to business owners via mass.gov slash reopening. In order to operate the Massachusetts business, uh, all Massachusetts businesses will need to meet the mandatory workplace safety standards and relevant sector specific protocols published by the state. The state has developed a guide to educate business owners on what supplies are needed to return to workplaces and a portal to connect uh, businesses with manufacturers and distributors. Educational materials will be provided to define how an employer should prepare their workplaces um, and to reopen that what, what real and to reopen and what products are appropriate for employees to protect themselves at work. While face and cover, uh, coverings are while face coverings are critical, medical grade face coverings are not necessary for non-healthcare workers. In schools in higher education. As previously announced, Massachusetts K through 12 school buildings will remain closed through the end of the 2019-2020 school year with remote teaching and learning in place. Schools will continue to offer non offer, offer essential non-educational um, services to their communities. Plans are being made for the summer learning programs and the 2021 school year and will be shared with the public in the weeks to come. Massachusetts diverse higher education institutions continue to foster teaching, learning, student support, and essential research remotely throughout, throughout this time. They are working together in the partnerships with the state to ensure a safe and gradual return to campus life. In the upcoming weeks, institutions will develop customized reopening plans with safety with, with, with safety of the communities in mind. So there's a lot of information that has just come out 
in, in the past 24 hours relative to the reopening uh, efforts. Um, gyms remain closed. Uh, Barbers will, will, will be open by, um, by, the, by the 25th. I know that's been a question that has come up a lot of times. Is, uh, is to see, you know, how can people get uh, go to hairstylists and, and barbers. Uh, they will be reopened on the 25th. Uh, we will see um, that uh, gyms will remain closed, unfortunately, though, probably for another uh, three to six weeks, uh, at least until, until the situation continues to evolve in a better direction. So those are the latest information, the information that I have. This is the latest information I do have. I'll continue to keep you updated. I will be back again with you tomorrow morning with more information on what's going on uh, with the state new guidelines. The, the town is working on releasing its plan, our own plan for reopening. We're going to start bringing employees back on, on the week of the 25th. Um, and and although, although we will continue to have, uh, not have full capacity as, as, we got, as, as the guidelines from the state continue to provide us limited ability to do that, uh, though we will probably be higher than what the state guidelines has in place and we'll continue to work through that and we'll continue to keep you updated on what's happening uh, with all the information that we have that's uh, up to date uh, for your for your best interest so until then i will see you again tomorrow morning again apologize for the late uh, broadcast today but i'll be back tomorrow morning with more information hope uh, hopefully you all stay well and i'll see you back back here right here uh, on facebook live thank you very much